will be between uh, the 7th and 12th of December of this year. Now, as you mentioned by this other secretary, he said he did the We prepared a lot of, uh, um, of uh, preparing a lot you know, for this GA in Phnom Penh. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman and the owner of uh, the division of the different countries. Uh, it's a very, uh, we are very happy and we are delighted to be here among uh, you as far as this is uh, about talking about preparing uh, an agenda for the Asian Parliamentary Assembly. It's very important that to, uh, I think, uh, when the, our delegations uh, uh, came here, we are came with a lot of things that you know we can share with you. Because also Iraq is, it became a battlefield to fight the terrorists and we have sacrificed more and still we are sacrificing and every day is giving the sacrifices towards the what's so called Daesh. We are not calling it a state and it is very important to know all these countries to, to avoid themselves to using the state or using the terms of the state because they are not a state. If we are going to call them the state, that means we have to have a, a different kind of, of uh, deal with them in a different way. Because the state meaning that they have a kind of the specified border, the specified definitions and recognition of the world. They are not a state. They are just a terrorist organization group. They control an, an, an area, so we have to be aware when we are using the terms. I've been uh, just a couple of days ago in the NATO parliamentary assembly in Norway, Stavanger, and I discussed that, and, and this is very, hopefully, the, all the countries in the NATO, they accepted the not to, to using the terms of the ISIS, because as I told you, they are not a uh, state, they are uh, very far from even so many ideology that they've been used, because in practice, they used everything against everybody without any kind of the distinction between this and that. And, uh, as you mentioned that, I'm, I, I agree uh, with the, what we mentioned uh, by uh, our friends in Kuwait. If we are going to rephrase or trying to uh, make a, a, a combination between the two, thing, two things, actually, it's linked together. The issue of the immigration is it is exists because of the issue of the of the war and fighting terror in the area. And the issue of the of the of the uh, of the terror in the area is exists because uh, and it's created a kind of instability in all the area. You know that how the situation is being complicated. So I think if we want to uh, really and in practice, if we want to uh, put an end to the issues of the immigration, we cannot do that without stability. There will not be stability without putting an end and limitations of fighting terrorist groups. And we cannot do that alone. Actually, one of the things which is requested now among all the Asian countries, as the same as with the European country and the Western country, is we should also, I also, I wanted to ask something, which is the, the high level cooperation among the countries, the regional countries, and also the Asian countries is very important. Like, for example, you mentioned so many things about the uh, different kinds and different levels of the cooperation. I mean, intelligence cooperation, uh, military cooperation, including all, also the kind of the mutual understanding and understanding with each other, the cooperation. So I'm asking you for the next session of the Asian Parliamentary to talk uh, about how we can all the Asian countries, because we are suffering of this kind of the things which is called terror, and for a long time ago, and still it's exit. We need, we need to, to, uh, to have a kind of the high level cooperation among ourselves, including the controlling of the borders. The controlling of the borders is very important that you know that because we were suffering of that. You see that these, uh, these terrorist groups started from Syria and came to the Iraq and now goes to the Lebanon and goes to other areas and goes to the Egypt and goes to the Libya and goes to some other area. Who knows which countries will be the next one if we are not going to cooperate right. among ourselves to share information in a different level. That's of course in addition of kind of, of having a fully cooperations among ourselves, like I told you, the intelligence, military, economic process, and also the last but not least, we have to admit that we should have a kind of the open political discussion among ourselves. 
because the political discussion might be the ultimate solution to touch the radical issues of the political uh, issues that led to have an open space and a free space for the terrorist groups to be exploited by them and to be used by, by them, which is complicating the issue in the, all the areas. So, my suggestion is a cooperation among the countries and Asian countries in a different level will be another suggestion for our next uh, summit. Coming meeting. And also, coming meeting. And also, it is very important, as I told you, uh, we talk and we have and we start with an open political discussion among ourselves because there are it's true there are so many differences but still there are so many common things that we can negotiate about it and we can all together put a kind of the agenda how to cooperate how to help each other how to assist each other to put an end for the uh, these issues which we are now suffering because of. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you very much. Let me talk about the Pakistan. I just want not more sir, because we are going to finish it. I let me talk about Pakistan. We we are suffering from last 35 that is uh, uh, that proposal that proposal I have and but a member of parliament from Bangladesh. Yeah. Uh, it would be much better if anybody who wants to speak should mention his country. That's so the people should know the country. Okay. Eastern wind, not uh, north wind, the blow is so cool, so nice. So we wish you all uh, to attend the GA.